Daniel 7. Now here is the point that I want to warn you. Many use the word son of man like it is parallel to son of God. They think son of God means the deity of Christ. Son of man means the humanity of Christ. You see that is using it without reference to its source. The source of Son of Man title is not simply to talk of the humanity of Jesus. It is claiming the messianic significance of Daniel 7. He is that Son of Man who will receive the kingdom which will have dominion over all of humanity. That's what's in it. And this was repeated by the Apostle John when he wrote the book of Revelation. Again, you have the claim that he is the ruler over the kings of the earth and he is coming with clouds. So there you have now uh, the point of claim by the New Testament that the Daniel 7 title is that for Jesus. As I've said, the Jews did not know this. They asked Jesus, who is this son of man? Because it's not a messianic title. But the use of the title son of man carries a claim of the exalted vision of Daniel's prophecy. So don't just use this as though it is a claim of humanity. It is a messianic claim. It is claiming the Daniel 7 prophecy. Warfield uh, has this to say. It is the one like unto a son of man of Daniel 7.13. We have a superhuman figure, a figure to superhuman character. Justice is not done until it is recognized as expressly divine. When our Lord himself derived from it, his favorite self-designation of son of man, he took it over in a transcendental sense and meant by applying it to himself to present himself as a heavenly being who had come forth from heaven and descended to earth on a mission of mercy to lost men. On every occasion on which our Lord called himself the Son of Man, thus he bears his witness to the transcendental character of the, pre of the figure presented to Daniel. So there's the significance of the Son of Man. We'll see this more when we come to the names of Jesus. Uh, Son of Man is an important title that Jesus himself made use of. And it was not the commonly understood messianic title. Jesus took it from Daniel 7, applied it to himself, and made it his own favorite self-designation. So the fulfillment of that Son of Man, Daniel 7 figure, is definitely claimed by Jesus. And again, be in the place of the apostles and they see in Jesus hear this language from Jesus and to the extent that they were pervaded with Old Testament language they would have heard the echo of Daniel 7 for example from the Olivet Discourse in that language they would have recognized Jesus is claiming to be that son of man who will have rule and dominion over all humanity uh, the Expositor's Bible Commentary says, All humans, whatever the race, nationality, ethnic origin, or language, will worship and serve him. Pela being equivalent to the cultic use of he the Hebrew abal, it's uh, from the Lei Pelum, Lei Plihun, his dominion in contrast to the ephemeral power of the first four kingdoms. Remember the Babylonian, Middle Persian, Hellenistic, or Greek, and Roman is the setting of the Son of Man prophecy. So unlike their ephemeral or temporary power of the, four, of the first four kingdoms, uh, that of the Son of Man is an everlasting dominion that will not pass away, and his kingdom is one that will never be destroyed. As of course, all man erected empires have been and ultimately will be. The final outcome of human history will be a return of Adam's race under the rule of the divine Son of Man, to loving obedience and subjection to the sovereignty of God, never again to fall away from him. So here is a beautiful Old Testament passage. No less than Jesus made use of and made it very categorical 
that he is claiming to be that son of man who will have rule over all nations. So what we have here is also uh, the implied claim that where Adam failed to be, to exercise dominion as he should have done over all creatures, uh, the son of man will take that place where Adam failed to be. So Daniel is an important source of the apostolic understanding of Jesus as the Messiah. Now, any question at this point? Any question, you can use the chat, the video, or in person. Introduce your name, nickname, church and place.